Let's focus today on one of the European giants that has paved the way for many other airlines, Lufthansa. Despite a slow recovery from the current crisis, the airline is getting back in shape and continues to surprise us after so many years. Today we're going to discuss about 10 facts that you should know about Lufthansa. As always, I tried my best to find the best pieces of information for you guys, so make sure to watch the video until the end to be sure you don't miss anything. As always, click on that phenomenal like button and let's get started. Number 10. Lufthansa is the largest airline in Europe. Together with all its subsidiaries, the Lufthansa Group counts an astonishing number of 529 aircraft. Airlines continuously make changes in their fleet by removing old planes, adding new ones, parking some others, so this number will probably not be the same anymore within a year or even a couple of months. Yes, I know this statement is a bit wrong because if you consider Lufthansa, the airline itself, without all of its subsidiaries of the group, it isn't the biggest airline in Europe, as it has only 220 aircraft. However, Lufthansa is nowadays a brand, and all of its subsidiaries are strongly attached and proud being under the Lufthansa brand, which is often seen as an excellent symbol. Number 9. Lufthansa is the biggest passenger Boeing 747 operator in the world. As of December 2021, Lufthansa remains the largest passenger Boeing 747 operator in the world. Just after them, you will find Korean Air with 13 747s and then Asiana Airlines with 11. Just imagine that. Lufthansa has almost twice as many jumbo jets as the competitor just immediately after it. Without a doubt, the airline struggled to keep them all operational during the pandemic as the maintenance and all the annex spendings related to the 747 are just huge. However, it looks like the airline wants to continue flying this amazing aircraft all over the other world, hopefully for a long time. Number 8. Lufthansa was the biggest A380 operator in Europe. That's right. Before the pandemic, Lufthansa has the largest Airbus A380 fleet in Europe with 14 aircraft. Right after, there was British Airways with 12 A380s and then Air France with 10 of them. Unfortunately, both Lufthansa and Air France have sent all of their A380s for long-term storage. Since 2011, the company has flown nearly 400 million passengers to about 21 destinations, 16 airports, and 9 countries. Number 7. Lufthansa was the launch customer of the Boeing 737. Indeed, as surprising as it can be, the first passenger 737 ever built was for a European airline. The designing of the 737 started in 1964, and the aircraft took off for the first time in 1967. Only one year later, in 1968, the Boeing 737 is flying its first passengers under the Lufthansa livery. Throughout its history, Lufthansa has operated 155 Boeing 737s, but you'll never see any of them nowadays, the last of them being retired in October 2016. The plane's all-time rival, the Airbus A320, was launched in 1984, and Lufthansa started showing interest in this new competitive and appealing alternative. That's how, after over half a century of Boeing 737 dominance, Lufthansa's fleet completely changed to a full Airbus fleet for its short and medium-haul network. Number 6. Lufthansa is one of the five founding members of the Star Alliance. Along with United Airlines, Thai Airways, Scandinavian Airlines, and Air Canada, Lufthansa was one of the pillars of the largest global airline alliance. The alliance was founded in 1997 with the goal of taking passengers to every major city on Earth. It certainly does that, because as of April 2018, Star Alliance is the largest of all alliances in the industry by passenger count with 762.27 million. Here's a fun fact. The logo of the alliance consists of a five-triangle star that represent the five founding members, and every member needs to paint at least one of its aircraft with the Star Alliance livery. Number 5. Lufthansa's hub serves the most destinations in the world. Frankfurt is the hub of Lufthansa, where the company has most of its aircraft based. Frankfurt Airport is the fifth busiest airport by passenger traffic in Europe after Istanbul Airport, London Heathrow, Paris Charles de Gaulle, and Amsterdam's Schiphol. Serving over 300 destinations across five continents, Frankfurt Airport is the airport with the most direct routes in the world. And as you can imagine, Lufthansa is the main contributor to this record. The company has its own separate terminal for first-class passengers that are living an unforgettable experience. The access to this terminal is strictly limited, and the first-class passengers are personally told by a valet when their flight is ready to board. The passengers are then driven to the airplane in a Porsche or Mercedes to make it even more impressive. Number 4. Lufthansa is the first to offer in-flight internet. 
Back in 2004, we've seen a major change in the airline industry that aimed to improve passenger comfort, the in-flight Wi-Fi. Lufthansa was the first airline ever to offer in-flight Wi-Fi to its customers, and this brought the air travel experience to a whole new level. The company was most probably motivated by the fact that numerous of its customers are business travelers. Having an in-flight Wi-Fi connection most probably attracted even more of them. Have you ever seen a bump on certain aircraft? That's the antenna of the in-flight Wi-Fi system that accesses the internet through satellites. Number 3. Lufthansa is the largest purchaser of caviar in the world. Lufthansa is also known to invest a lot in their passengers and their comfort. We've already discussed this with the VIP terminal at its hub and the in-flight Wi-Fi. The company goes even further by spoiling its first-class passengers with outstanding caviar. Lufthansa is known as the biggest caviar customer in the world as 5% of the global caviar production goes to the company. Have you tried caviar while on board a Lufthansa flight? Number 2. Lufthansa is the first European airline to ever receive the Skytrax 5-star certification. Lufthansa is the first and only airline in Europe to receive, at that time, the five-star airline award. This also brings Lufthansa as one of the 10 best premium airlines in the world. This rating was awarded by Skytrax in 2018 and 2019, while it lost its throne that was taken by Air France. The airline has always provided an amazing experience in all of its travel classes and has an amazing safety record. The acquisition of brand new aircraft such as the A320neo family and the A350 has highly contributed to the company's election as the Europe's best airline for two consecutive years. Now before we get into the number one fact that you should know about Lufthansa, I invite you to drop a like in this video if you haven't done so yet and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. You can even click on that bell icon to make sure you're notified when we drop a new video. Number 1. Lufthansa's longest flight is over 15 hours. On January 31st, a Lufthansa A350 took off on the longest non-stop flight in the company's history. The aircraft departed Hamburg with 16 crew members on board and 92 passengers on behalf of the National Polar and Marine Research Center. Among those 92 passengers, you could find scientists and ship crews traveling to an expedition with the research vessel Polarstern. The A350 is one of the most sustainable and economical long-hail aircraft, so it only makes sense to see it breaking these kinds of records. For example, Singapore Airlines also uses an A350 for its 18-hour and 40-minute long New York to Singapore route. Another record-breaking flight was completed by a German Air Force A350 flying 19 hours and 13 minutes from Cologne to Canberra. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Have you ever traveled on a Lufthansa aircraft? Let me know in the comments down below. Want to watch more amazing top 10 videos? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss an upload. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.